percentage of a number. So if you wanted to calculate 11% of 60, well, percentage means out of 100, and it's really easy to change that to a decimal. So that's the first thing you need to do. Take the percent, change it to a decimal. You do that by moving the decimal point over twice, so once, twice. So that becomes 0 0.11, because I've moved it once, twice. Of means times 60. So then all you have to do is put this into your calculator. So you go 0 0.11 times 60, and you get 6.6. .6. So that's what 11% of 60 is. So let's try that again. So first step we have to do is change the percentage to a decimal. To do that, you take the decimal place and you move it once, twice. So in this case here, we get 0 0.04, because we moved it one time, two times. Of means times. 75, and when you put that in your calculate, calculator, we get 3. So I want you to try a few more of these. After you've done that, what I want you to do is learn about commission. So commission is a percent of the sales made. And there's two types of commission when we're working. You could get straight commission, that means you only get paid if you make sales. So earnings are based only on commission. Or you could get salary plus commission. So if you had a bad week where you didn't sell anything, you're still gonna get some money. However, the more you sell, the more you're gonna get paid. So it's the commission combined with the salary. And I wanna do a couple examples. So here's the first one. It says, Ella works in the shoe store. She earns a salary. So salary means even if she has no sales, she's going to get paid back a week plus 6% commission. So the more she sells, the more she'll get paid. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So in this particular week, she sold $3,000 worth of shoes find her total earnings for the week. So first thing we need to do is figure out, well, how much did she make in commission? So our first step is to calculate the commission. So it says our commission is 6% of $3,000. So we want to calculate what 6% of 3,000 is. Well, 6% has to get changed to a decimal, so you move the decimal place once, twice, you get 0 0.06 times 3,000, and when you put that into your calculator, you actually get $180. So because she sold $3,000 worth of shoes, she's going to get an additional $180 on top of her earnings. Now, we want the total earnings. So to calculate the total earnings, what we're gonna do is we take what she gets paid, no matter what, her salary, plus our commission. So she gets paid $240 plus, and in this case here, $180 commission, and when you add 240 plus 180, you get 420. So she actually made this week $420. So therefore, Ella earns $420 for the week. So now what I want to do is another example. Okay, so it says Deacon works part-time selling tools. He's paid 30% of his sales. So all his money comes from the sales. So if he doesn't make if he doesn't make any sales, he's not going to get paid anything. He actually sells quite well. So Monday he made $187, Tuesday 176, Wednesday 220, 60, 160, 185.9.
So the first thing we need to do is calculate his total sales. So find the total sales. So to do that, you just add all the numbers so that we know how much he actually earned in sales. So it's 187 plus 176.5 plus 220.6 plus 160 plus 185.9. And when you add all those numbers together, you get $930. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate his commission. So now that I know what the total sales are, we can actually figure out his total commission. So he gets paid, it says 30% of his sales. So it's going to be 30% of 930 dollars. So we change that to a decimal, so it'll be 0 0.30 times 930 and we get 279 dollars. So therefore, he earned $279 for the week.